Yep, you've heard it right folks. Today we've got gameplay from Dallas Fields Hanbin, the number one Junker Queen and the best off tank player in the world. Rather than doing just an analysis, today we'll just be observing and commentating on how Hanbin plays the newly buffed Junker Queen. Before we start, I'll be sharing a few words from Hanbin about his opinions on the hero. He states that Junker Queen isn't very strong and her damage is lacking. He also said that when he tries to play Junker Queen in competitive, he constantly gets flamed. So to make sure Hanbin doesn't have to get flamed, just to make our video, we've requested some replay codes on quick play instead. Because Junker Queen isn't able to poke from range, it looks like Hanbin is opting to hold the first corner from low ground. He throws the knife into the enemy Winston and shoots him right on the head. When the Winston tries to leap out, Hanbin recalls his knife, cancelling the Winston's jump and immediately following up with Carnage to obliterate the enemy tank. From the enemy Winston's perspective, he leaps away because it's disadvantageous to brawl a Junker Queen who has higher burst, the ability to inflict wounds, and even a shout for sustainability, but he got completely outplayed by Hanbin. Furthermore, facing off against Junker Queen after being knifed only increases her value, so the best Winston can do is fall back and stay out of her range. Junker Queen is very dependent on her shout ability because she has no shield, no immunity to CC, and even has a low health pool despite being a tank. The enemy swaps to an Orisa, who's probably the tankiest hero at the moment, which is a good choice because Orisa can stop all of Junker Queen's abilities. After baiting out the Ana's sleep dart with some strafing, Hanbin uses Shout and pretends to rush at the Ana, then quickly changes direction to surprise kill the Hanzo. He even gets a pick on the Ana with the knife throw, headshot, pull, and melee. Even though the game just started, you can literally feel how insane of a player Hanbin is. Like Jesus, his aim is literally perfect. With low health and shout on cooldown, it wouldn't be smart to run at an Ana who has sleep dart available, so Hanbin moves into cover. Didn't he say Junker Queen's damage sucked? Imagine queuing up for a quick play for a nice chill match, and finding yourself playing against an Overwatch League champion. But unfortunately, Junker Queen is very weak to heroes with CC. My golly, like what are you even supposed to do against her when she can literally mitigate all of your damage? Nerf Arisa, please. Other tanks have the potential to turn around bad matchups with mechanical skill, but Junker Queen is a bit too one-dimensional to do so. Now, let's watch point B defense. Ah, oh, poor Junker Queen. She really can't do anything against CC. <laughs> Just give her a way to live. Back on high ground, Hanbin tries to distract the enemy backline. He attempts a rush with a Kiriko ult. Hanbin manages to catch the Widow, but because we're in a bit too deep, he attempts to reposition and pressure the enemies with Rampage. Wow, look at that health regen. Although it didn't work out, when you've used up your abilities and it's difficult to survive, you can use your ult to increase sustain. Hanbin camps out on high ground while our Ana farms Nano. And he responds to the enemy Kiriko ult with a Nano Queen. <laughs> Man, poor guy. He just wants to play the game. If it's this difficult for the number one Junker Queen to play against normal players, I think it says a lot about where the hero stands at the moment. The enemy tank swaps again from Orisa to Roadhog. This time, we've got a Kiriko ult, but because of CC, it's not easy for Junker Queen to rush in Hail Mary. While walking out, Hanbin gets hooked by the Roadhog. Could have almost gotten an environmental kill there, but at least Rodox seems a lot easier to play against than Arisa. The greatest downside of Junker Queen is the lack of mobility, so utilizing high ground is a must and mispositioning even the slightest bit can build into a snowball. As soon as the cleanse is out, Hanbin ults. 
Because Cleanse is a huge counter to Rampage, the conditions and setup for utilizing it can be a bit demanding. Hanbin rotates around while staying behind cover to prevent the Hanzo from getting free damage. Oof, nice shot. The Kirko ult is going to be on the low ground and he needs to follow up with our Genji's blade, so Hanbin chooses to hold the low ground. It was a bit of a struggle against Arisa, but the game turned out okay. Now, let's move on to our second map. This time, it's Colosseo. Hanbin takes the off angle rather than going main. All the enemies suddenly decide to come over to join the party. If the activation time for Carnage was faster, that totally would have been a kill. Seeing his health drop under 200, Hanbin uses Shout for increased sustain. Unless Junker Queen's Carnage is on cooldown, supports like Brig or Lucio should never get that close. Because Junker Queen can heal off of her damage, it's important to make use of inflicting wounds first before having to use Shout to bolster your health. Since Ramatra's Vortex is gone and he's low health, Hanbin rushes him with Shout and Carnage. He continues to rotate wide to get extra picks. You can make up Junker Queen's lack of range if you can land the knife effectively. Hanbin pressures up a bit on high ground to allow the bot to continue pushing, then backs out. He marks the side room just in case the enemies rotate, but if the enemies don't take the side rooms and off angles, you can be the one to use it instead for a chance to get a surprise kill. Playing against a team without Ana definitely makes it easier to play Junker Queen. The Zarya drops down to contest the point, but because they were rushing, we've already exhausted both bubbles, allowing the team to rush in with Rally and Shout. When he knows the Zarya has no bubbles left, he finishes them off with a Carnage. Oh, look at this movement to pull the knife into the Kirigo. It's the small details like this that make Hanbin a world-class player. When he has to play responsively or is fighting against multiple enemies, Hanbin uses Shout only at the very last second. How does he make it look so easy to land these knives? We restart on the bridge after losing a fight. After using Shout, Hanbin pulls out both bubbles with Carnage then immediately ults knowing that both bubbles are gone. In order to minimize exposure to damage, the enemies begin playing around cover and their space control crumbles as a result. Thanks to Hanbin, the allies were able to get a hold of a positional advantage. He lands the knife pulling the Zarya back and chases them down with Shout as soon as the cleanse gets used. Hanbin deals damage with primary fire and melee first because the enemies could avoid Carnage with bubble or teleport. Is it just me or does it feel like Carnage takes way too long to cast? The bot is making its way up the ramp so Hanbin focuses on maintaining the front line. He lands the knife onto the enemy brig and when the Brig tries to initiate on bridge, Hanbin recalls the knife in an attempt to get a pick. Now we have a deadlock towards the end of the map. Hanbin uses shift as his health drops below 200. Seeing the cleanse and bubble used, Hanbin ults into cover, refilling his HP. He once again takes the side instead of going main. After landing the knife, he waits for bubble to drop before pulling, exhausting both bubbles out of Zarya. He uses his shout as a last resort for health. 
Finding that the Kiriko gets split off from the Zarya, Hanbin wins the fight by cleaning up the mispositioned tank. But we keep losing the fight at the very end of the map. Hanbin walks over to his teammates who are still fighting. Junker Queen doesn't seem so bad when the enemies don't have either Orisa or Ana. He hides around while waiting for his team to regroup and looks for a pick on the brig. His knife accuracy is so high, and it's scary how well he maneuvers around the map like a snake slithering around him. Although Junker Queen got buffed, it feels like there's a limit to Junker Queen's value, even for the best Junker Queen in the world. Thank you so much to Hanbin for sending us the replay codes, and we'll end it here for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.